Hi everyone, here we are <clears throat> finishing up the multimedia section talking about you understand when we say digital we're talking about bits representing for example photography, audio, video, pictures and so forth. What are some of the advantages of using graphics to make a point, right? A picture or a uh, video may be a much better way to represent something than just text. Also, when you just read text, it's hard to remember it as well as maybe if you hear something or you see it. Large files affect computer performance. And then how do we store this you know, information? You know, a lot of things we can work with online. Data compression, we haven't talked about that. You can take a file and data compression will actually make it smaller, but then when you need to use the file, you have to decompress it back to the original size in order to use it. But when it's smaller, that can be good for moving the file somewhere else. Google uh, automatically compresses and uh, changes the video a little bit in order to get it to fit in the YouTube. So it might not be the exact video you, you sent up. It's adjusted. Um, Google is working on some very good compression algorithms and there's other compression algorithms out there that work well. How do you use audio and video? You know, everybody that varies. And then what impact does gaming have on society? And we're going to talk about that in graphics and pictures. We just reviewed some of those key things. Using that to make a point. How we capture it. And a lot of ways of capturing stuff using scanners. <clears throat> I think it's very important that you understand here the difference. Uh, these are bit mapped. You keep dots to represent it. When you resize it, you may have problems, like if you make it bigger. Whereas <clears throat> vector graphics, they use vectors and some type of algorithm to draw the picture, and you can resize it and retain the quality. All kinds of ways to share images electronically and remember if you're going to print them you can use these online services and some of them are very reasonable price wise and you want to be able to download You want to be able to download the full picture. All right. So, lots of ways to use digital images. We talked about desktop performance issues, backing them up. Navigating content, we already talked about links and hypertext. We're good there. Web authoring. Anybody can have a website. Um, just remember the quality of the website is very important. Digital and audio capture. We just had a video on that. And I'll move right into the last thing. The gaming industry. The gaming industry is huge. It's big. It affects businesses and so forth. Um, a little bit of research here and you can find out how big it is. But it's, um, it's bigger than the movie industry, I know that, in terms of sales. What kind of effects? There's lots of interest in this, you know, um, in terms of the violence of the game and what kind of impact it has on society. Um, Maybe too much gaming 
you know. Um, on the um, positive impact, you know, this has brought people together. You know, people gain from all over the world to um, to do things. It's entertainment. And gaming has been shown to um, be able to be used in terms of teaching, keeping our minds active. A lot of different sides to that. That's it.